Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 47 of Sons of Carthage in Rome as Tunis, where we're of course going to go and, well, finish up this war with Spain once again. We've, we've done a lot, of, a lot of Spanish conquests here recently, but it's all for, it's all for good purpose here. Now, we're going to bring everyone back. We're going to have to start off fresh again. We're going to have to move down to Portugal. We're going to have to go siege Kane and Bornu. We're going to have to do a lot of things. So, let's see how this whole this whole endeavor goes. Of course, we also have the nice or nice, perhaps, separatists over here that may or may not pop up in the next 20 years. Next five years, really. Who knows? But, um, I think separatism will deal with that, won't it? Yeah, it will. It's not a real problem. Let's bring these guys back onto the ships. And these guys will come back over time. After multiple uh, multiple maneuvers, you're going to have to be split in two, actually. These guys will hop on. We'll start off by bringing them down here to get rid of Tupinicum. You know, solve these issues here. It's a fact. There we go. A little bit more prestige. And uh, between episodes, I had enough... Uh, you know, Papal Influence to actually give myself a slight chance and give myself an extra Diplo rep so I can annex slightly faster. My Diplo rep is looking really bad, actually, because overextension, reputation sabotaged, and all that good stuff, so... We're gonna see what we can really accomplish, if anything at all. Um, let me actually check the Spanish... Now, would it be so bad to just end it off like this? Yeah, they wouldn't accept that. That would be all that we need. That would be the whole thing. And if I wanted to, I could also, of course, um, take some more provinces. I mean, 108 isn't bad. The thing is, if I wanna, if I want to vassalize Spain, it's gonna have to be outside of Iberia. 513 aggressive expansion. It's just not gonna work, you know. So what we'd have to do is we have to take the land have Iberia under control and then you know vassalize them on an island or something where we can get their empire under our control kind of right so that's just sort of how that whole thing's going that's the quick explanation of Spain and the possibility of, of vassalization now you're moving on to Dara let's move over there as well France is thinking otherwise actually and you guys are gonna go Tech trade, Genoa, slightly damaged as per usual. Now, the ships have returned. Let's go back, pick up some more men. Do I need to leave anyone behind? Not really. Yeah, these have literally zero, zero problems already. Because they're the right, they're the right religion. And you just have issues because, I don't know, you have issues. I, I don't know what this province has. But it's something weird, something different. Okay, clean up those guys, get rid of those peasants. I'm still wondering what's up with these guys. I'm wondering how we're going to attack them and all that. I want to be able to... to win against the Ottomans without needing anyone else. It's kind of the whole the whole goal itself is, is kind of that. I'm wondering if I can also just go and step on your capital. Make you upset, I don't know. We'll see. Get rid of you guys. Siege of Cairo is over. Took you guys long enough, but I guess you got it. Finally. We'll move you guys down there. And the next set of troops will come down here. And deal with the noble rebels. Or not. I guess these guys are on the warpath already, so. They'll go and get rid of them. Someone else can siege them. And that'll be cool. So you guys with your transports can actually come over here. It's much faster. We can basically just stack wipe. And I imagine once we're done this war, the whole coalition should disband. And it'll probably kick itself back up once we go to war with the Ottomans, which might be not today, but maybe, maybe another day. Who knows? We want to make sure everything's prepared for that, so, you know, make sure... 
We have a lengthy truce with Britain, which we'll probably get. Actually, no, it's already been overwritten. We have 11 years. It's not bad. Move you two together. You guys are moving extra quick to the defense of this forward. Good thing I put a, an actual fort on that. That would have been stupid if I didn't eventually do that. Yeah. Run, but I don't know if you'd make it. And you don't. Rip. That's an entire stack wipe. As for Portugal, they're landing in Suez, so I'm going to have to, uh, well, I'm going to have to get rid of them. Okay, we can't forget this or make everyone happier. I am such a fan of this, you have no idea. Getting an improved 60 relations with a bunch of countries is massive. It's ridiculous, really. I mean, are you, you're not in the coalition, which is good. Who, who was that entirely with? It's with you, which is really important. Mainz doesn't necessarily hate us too much. They don't like us, but like they don't despise us necessarily. Do we get eased tensions here? Yeah, especially with Switzerland as well. Bring them to positive, and we'll we'll be looking good. Pretty much. Brandenburg got court and country. Maybe that'll increase their uh, their discipline even further if they get extra whatever you know. Extra absolutism. And there's a pretty decent chance they'll be able to do that. I'll just get rid of this one troop here. Pop. I'll move those guys over there. Um, right, let's get these guys... Over to here, actually. Using the ships. They'll move back over. You guys can come siege this if it's not already sieged. Actually, I should go get rid of you guys. That's what I should be doing. I should also be decreasing the regiment costs, which in turn does decrease its maintenance, I think. I think we'll have to wait a month to really see that. Hold on. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. That's the base cost. Oh, yeah, okay. So the base is 30 and it's decreased by 10%. That doesn't work like that. What? That's only one ducat off. What? They're each one ducat off. That's weird. Okay, well, the theory goes is that that decreases the cost. And maintenance is tied to cost. So you actually get, like, two maintenance bonuses when you do this. But anyway. We'll have to just siege that. That's fine. It's the best we can do anyway. Uh, Portugal's trying to control Ifni. You guys are going to be moved. Great. Gaelic Separatists, Northumbrian Separatists. They'll all be fixed soon. Hopefully. Just gotta get rid of a little bit of uh, overextension. War exhaustion. War exhaustion goes down fast enough, I think. I should build some more policies. I don't need this one. Don't really need this one either, or that one. I'm thinking this will be great, though. Morale of armies, recover morale is fantastic. Attrition for enemies and national... Well, I mean, the attrition for enemies is what matters more. Um, and this would be great. The pen relies on the sword act. Sounds really useful. Yeah, now you guys are going there, too. Let's, let's move you guys down here. Really just sort of get rid of you. <laughs> Tag priority is funny. Anyway, um, Spain wants peace. Cain and Bornu, can I peace you out? No, only when I take your capital. It'll be a while, but I'll take it. Oh boy, 71%. Of course it's going to be that long. Now let's get rid of you. I'm just not fast enough. Oh, maybe I am. Yep, I'm fast enough. There we go. 85%. I expect no less. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of you. You're going to move down there, so you're going to retreat like that. We'll go and just get rid of this fleet, I think. Should be fine. Don't know what's there, but I captured some sort of ships, so... Free ships are the best kind. 
Still sieging that. We have to move someone down to Portugal at some point. Eventually. There we go. Kane and Bornu would now peace out. I might as well just take, like, a couple of things, right? In theory, if I took... That. That's what I need for the, uh... For airstrike, at least, from them. So maybe if I just take this, that's fine. I don't think I can have them, you know, give up the... The whole thing here, but that's okay. Um, in fact, it'd be more useful if they keep their lines with Spain. Because I can invade them when I'm trying to vassalize Spain. So, you know, maybe it is useful. I'll core it all up as per usual. And it's just Spain and Portugal, which means I'm just going to move these guys back. And go siege down Portugal. Because Spain's pretty much gone. Just need to siege that back. And it'll take a little while, but we should be okay. One of the biggest issues is just, like, how much attrition I stack. I feel like the Ottomans just doom stacking everywhere and getting massive attrition. It's really not fun. It's, it's not great. It's not fun at all. So I should just do this. Have you guys in little stacks go siege some stuff. And the big stack over here can split to do those things, I think, should cover all the bases. In theory, they're hiring a lot of mercs too, which is kind of annoying, but we'll just make a clean sweep across, I think. Or maybe we'll go here and clean up those troops, and we'll bring these guys down to here so I can clean up Portugal ah, we finally had the separatists huh? okay just give me a second Saxon heritage half cost but I do like my national unrest dude yeah, you guys finally rose up huh hmm well I could just move around couldn't I We'll do the same thing as before, just have them walk all the way around to fix that up. And these guys can clean up over here. We can have, I guess, change rivals cost? Sure, whatever. Doesn't make much of a difference to me. And I feel like it would still be in our best interest to build um, at least one more fort here. I do have half cost for the next, like, 20 years, so I might as well use it. Yeah, I feel like I might as well use it. All that's left is Portugal to siege, and that is it. Spain wants peace, yeah, but I still have to deal with Portugal. I don't want Portugal to have that alliance with you anymore, so... I have to go siege them for it. We still have a really long time before Tech 23... Oh boy, Tech 23. Oh lord, Tech 23. I cannot wait for Tech 23. Client states and advanced CB. Two of my favorite things in the game. Oh boy, Tech 23. You guys are annoyingly fast. I can't even assign a leader. You guys are just too quick. Now oh, we can catch you at least. There we go. Group everyone back up over there. I hardly feel like that's going to be enough, but we'll see. Okay, here we've arrived, finally. In the cape. Basically just... Yeah, we're just going to go into Carpet Siege. I'm done with your garbage, Portugal. I'm gonna reset our time at sea by doing this. And then I'm gonna do that. Portugal wants a white piece. Funny enough, I'm actually gonna have you get rid of 
everything you have with Spain. Let's start with that. They saw me land and they're like, please no, please. I'm sorry. You picked the wrong side of the war. Oh my god, look at that siege timer. What? 13 day sieges. You ever seen a siege timer go up that fast? God damn. Rip. I didn't even know it was possible to get, like, sieges that are that godly. Ah, oh, they're gonna crush that guy. That sucks. I'll have to fix that once I uh, finish sieging these guys. The other guy's gonna die too. Rip. If I could ever get that siege, that would be great if they could just stop doing this thing. Or they delete like two units at a time. There we go. Go up and get rid of you. Actually, instead of just losing more units, I should just, yeah. I can't vassalize you yet, but we're close enough. Um, can I just take some random islands? You don't have random islands. Well, that's a relief, I guess. I'll take that. I'll take this. Take this. Don't really want that, actually. Don't want this either. Okay, what is that war score worth? Like 14? That's an improvement. Okay, we'll take it. Thanks for being annoying, annoying Portugal. But we're going to return back to Spain now. It was finally alone. It took a really long time, but here we are. Go ahead, grab that. France is upset because we've run out of things. I could pay off their debt. What do we have here? Events and stuff, and yeah, yeah. Placated ruler. I should build another army, is what they're telling me. Okay, I'll do that when I get back. For now, just like eat some prestige. Munch, munch. And that'll be fine. Okay. That's going to take forever. Why? I feel like that isn't progressing. Is that just me, or is it not progressing at all? It isn't progressing. Yeah, I didn't think it was. Why isn't it progressing? 1684. Is it progressing? 248 out of 336. I'm checking it this time. 248 out of 336. 248. 248. 248. It's not progressing. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. They have their capital. Why is it halted? Am I missing something? We have the Diplo rep available for it. It's not like it's not like this halts you from from annexing someone. It's harder to integrate, but it's not impossible to integrate, you know. Maybe it's because we're at war with someone who also has a core there, so I can't do that. That's like the most logical explanation. Let me also, just so I have like the ability to, to do stuff, I'm going to take that too. Don't really want the islands, but they wouldn't cause too much unrest. Right. We're at 47.5% overextension. So that's 42.5 we can have? 52.5 we can have in total. Unless I give something to Leon. But I don't think they'd cord in time. Yeah, these are worth no overextension, so it's not like that matters at all. Yeah, these don't actually cost overextension. Just that these do, so I'm going to have to give something to Leon, but that's alright. Surprise, we're not actually that high up on this, but I should have more war score, but whatever. Um, I want those islands so that I have, like, conquest available to them. But what would that leave Spain with? Like, a few provinces nowhere, actually. Like, over here, that would leave Spain with a few provinces over there. Which is arguably even worse. So I think I'll just let them have these islands, because it'll be easier to go get them. 
Yeah, I might... Might go do that. Warp-ups don't matter. Um, cool. We'll just go with this. Iberia will be mine. Gorgeous. Okay. So, I've taken all of Iberia. We've grabbed what we've needed. And I'm at 102. I'm going to hand something off. To, uh, to Leon, probably. Grant them, like, this or something. So that I don't have to deal with it. There we go. I can core up the rest. Not this, though. Not St. Helena, because there's something on it. Portuguese separatists. Of course they'd be on it. Is that separatists or no peasants? Right. Well, we can easily deal with that. Because we actually have a fleet to use. And these are Spanish pretender rebels, which are not going to do anything inside my country or my vassal. So, good luck. Have fun with that. We'll leave these guys over here. We have a lot of Diplos still, and I imagine the Diplo is going to actually resume this time. Right? Yeah, now it's resuming. Okay, that makes sense. 86, so four years. But that's assuming that the sabotage lasts a long time, which it doesn't. It lasts like five years. And takes a long time to like make it happen, so that's really not that bad. Okay, so we have Iberia under total control, France under most control, Britain is like basically our puppet at this point. We just need to keep invading them and just, you know, I'll snake my way down. I kind of want to own Britain, but we also need to focus a little bit more on the Ottomans. We have, what is it, like the Balkans, Anatolia, and the Mashriq. I think that's what it's called, the Mashriq, right? Yeah, we have the rest of the Mashriq region. Anatolia, the Balkans, Vien. Those are the four focuses we have left, and we have like 120, 140 years to uh, to accomplish it. I'm a, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I feel like it's really good. I feel like we have some really good time for this. Um, it's entirely likely we'll have to invade Russia because they're probably going to invade Astrakhan once the Ottomans uh, are not able to you know help them. But well, we're going to start off by moving the men. What's the unrest around here? It's not too bad. I'll bring these guys to deal with that unrest. And these guys over here should... Drop these guys on here. This is really bad. Out in the open sea. Taking attrition. <laughs> Waiting for 50,000 men to stand on a single island. <laughs> the attrition's... I absolutely immense. I wish you could have just like a few men leave the ship and not all of them. That might actually be a 1.30 feature. I don't know. It might be. I know marines will be and I'm looking forward to those but don't know about the rest of those things. Okay so Iberia is complete. Leon will be done annexing not too long in the future. Mamluks have left the coalition. The coalition should somewhat absolve. There we go. Mines has left. Ooh. Okay, a couple good things, a couple bad things. We have a regency for the next four years. But on the bright side, the coalition has completely dissolved. Well, not completely. There we go. All that's left is Memmingen, who is deciding to stand strong. Interesting. I, I don't know why, but alright. Memmingen, you alright there? Need a hug? You okay? Because you're the only one left in this coalition. You might need a hug. We're just going to improve relations with them for a while. I should not have done that. I did that on instinct. <laughs> that was stupid. Because I don't actually want Hungary anymore. I'll, I'll just sort of feed them to the Ottomans. He'll get separate pieced out in an instant. And that's actually the timer for today's episode. Well, let me set up for the next war. Which I'm pretty sure will be with the Ottomans. <clears throat> On the bright side, I've gone ahead and just... Stacked the biggest navy in the game? Question mark, maybe? 
Maybe. Yes. Biggest navy in the entire game. They have more galleys, though, and I don't like that. So I think I'm just going to build up a bunch of galleys. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, it's it's really not that bad to just stack up a whole bunch of bunch of galleys. I'll just build like 35 to match their army size. I mean, theirs is actually 63, so 35 plus my 38. So that's a little larger than 63, but just because. Um... I might also want to start investing in more shipyards or grand shipyards. Because I still need to get Barbarossa, so... That'll be interesting. I also need a few more of these. A couple of places. That'll be nice. You guys can go back to... Oh, we need a new Admiral. That's what we need. Start off with that. Give me some more... That'll, that'll waste our Diplo, actually. Let's not do that. Hire an Admiral. Ooh, I almost never hear that. I almost always do that from the... From the other menu. Okay, that was interesting. I love that, actually. I've literally never heard that sound in all my hours of playing this game. I... Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. Well, all right, then. Interesting. Uh, I guess Memmingen rejected our hugs. We'll have to wait a little while longer and they'll, uh, they'll come around. I could probably just, like, toss them a few ducats or something. You have a few pennies. They'll like me. Not enough to leave, but they're chill with the few pennies. So that's, that's nice. I'm also gonna, like, just stand right here. I'm a little worried about these, uh, reformed zealots, but... We'll stand nearby. Air Separatists as well. Oh, that's true. I do need to worry about those. Let's have you conform to the legions. Let's have you stand around. Waiting. I have another army. One here, one there, and another one over here. Which, because of the ridiculousness of this ability, allows me for no penalty and absolutely... No, you know, no decrease on the effectiveness. Snake all the way over here to decrease that. It's a little weird, but it works for some reason. I'm also thinking that... Uh, the instant that I declare on the Ottomans, I'll go for my Golden Era. That'll give me, like, plus 10 morale or something, I think. Yeah. Plus 10 morale of armies. Let's size things up first. So Ottomans, Navy, we will crush them. We also have some good galley combat ability. Like, it's it's solid stuff. And we can also... Check by... Army quality comparison. Ottomans have... Oh, about 5 morale, I'd say. That's what it looks like to me. We have 5.3, a little, little bit under 5.4. Our discipline's higher from absolutism. Um, there's, they actually have 100 absolutism, so that's what they have. And their traditions. We just went esprit de corps and full quality. Our tradition's pretty good. I feel like we'd be able to win. Pretty easily. With our quality, we also have combat abilities. And the Ottomans, um, they haven't quite gotten there yet, I don't think. They might just have... Yeah, they have infantry combat, but that's it. They don't have any more than that. Oh, I don't like that glitch. Alright, well... One of the other issues is, well, I'm gonna have to somehow make a path for France. Which would mean asking for access through Provence and Austria, which they don't really like at all. 150,000 men. How would that do against the Ottomans to start? Not bad. That would actually be pretty alright. That wouldn't be terrible. Well, okay. Let's recover a little bit of manpower and let's sign off for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This is Corbett signing off. And as always, have a fantastic day.
I'd like to give a quick thank you for the following patrons for the month of May. In the $1 tier, we have Quiet Guy, Quagersol, Farron, DLNM, and TFLJ Martis. In the $3 tier, we have Ben Greenhagen. In the $5 tier, we have Justinian. In the $10 tier, Natsuki. And in the $20 tier, Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a lot to me, and you're really helping to move this channel forward. Again, I cannot possibly thank you enough.